good boy, always something I never want to say.
in our service, or also the family members, one on the outside, and some seats at the front for him. Right. He's done. and the life said the Lord. He that believed in me, though you are dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. I know that my Redeemer liveth, that he shall stand at the latter days upon the earth. Though after my skin were and destroy this body, Get in my flesh, I say, see God, whom I shall see for myself, and when I shall behold not another. For we brought nothing into this world, and his servant can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This morning we gather here to put away the Remain of our loved one, Junior Richard Griffiths. And as he stated that the Lord giveth and the Lord take it away. And with so many of the friends are here to support the family of the Griffiths, to say farewell and to celebrate the life of Richard. It may be a short one but we will be celebrating today. At this time, we will commence with the hymn, Oh, what singing, some good morning. <laughs> some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air.
Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads everywhere as we commit this service into the hands of God. Eternal Heavenly Father, our Savior, our King. Lord, we honor, we praise, and we adore your name this morning. Father, we thank you for life. Oh God, we thank you that you have spared our lives that we can be in this service today to bid farewell, oh God, to another family member. God, it's not the way that we would have desired, but Lord, you said in everything we ought to give you thanks. In everything we ought to give you praise. And so as we gather today, Lord, to bid farewell, God, to Richard, we pray, God, that as we come, we will recognize, Lord, that this is a pathway that each and every one of us must try. You said in your words, it's appointed unto man once to die, but after death comes the judgment. Father in heaven, Jesus, we pray as we come today, it will be a reflective service. We will look back in our lives, God, and to see where we are with you. Lord, you said you're coming back at one day. You said we must not allow our hearts to be troubled because you will be coming back for your people. We pray, God, that as friends and relatives gather this afternoon, Lord, as they give thanks for what you have done, Jesus, they will recognize who you are and commit their lives to you. We pray, God, right now, as we put, present this service in your hands, we pray, Lord God, that you take full control. Jesus, let your will be done in this service, that at the end, Lord, you will get the glory, you will get the honor, you will get the praise. In the name of Jesus, we commit to all God everything in your hands, as we give you all the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you very much. You may be seated. It's time for the first lesson, Psalm 90, 1 through 12. The Lucian, Griffiths, daughter of the deceased. Psalms 90, verse 9 to 12, and it reads, On all our days, my past away in thy wrath, we spent our years as a tale that is told. Days of our years are these colors, years and ten. And if batteries in Austrian, they be full of square years. And if reason by our strength, they be four square years, yet is there thy strength, labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. Who knows the power of thy anger, even according to thy fear? So is thy love to the last, so teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto us. This is one of them. Thank you very much. This morning we give thanks to the Lord for allowing us to be here. It is not a pleasant occasion, but we are all here. I just want to acknowledge you, those who are here, Pastor. That's the style. And the same from Greater Grace Church in Harborview. Please stand so that they can move you. 
అనే సేమ్స్ దట్ కేవలం అనే మదర్ ది సీస్ ఇస్ అ మెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ది చర్చ్ మిషనరీ we would rather we don't have to do this but we have no control over what happened so we welcome you all this morning far and wide those who are here to lend support for the musician the tech team it's good to have you all and those who don't know the name scarlet it go way up i came into this organization 1974 and those who go to prayer meeting have to know bishop scarlet if you haven't been to prayer meeting over the last 20 25 years I I don't want I don't remember what he did so I prefer to go again but he is one of the stalwart of Shiro finish preach go down into the pool and baptize a great man of God and his son following years who said glad to have you pastor and all those from greater grace temple now those who are here from different churches for those if you are here travel from overseas welcome welcome one and all sad as it may be but mr charles for bondon and I we go back I said it many time welcome to all those on Zoom partners here thank you for joining me many years ago the late great Moti Scott Moti Perkins many person maybe they don't like his attitude and what he says and does very controversial man but he always say we that are in the country area when the violence and those things are happening in kingston we don't care much about it he said let the con- let them see the killer of them one another his words that one day it will reach i don't think none of us are spared from the gun i have never seen so many people being killed by a gun in the last 6 7 8 days 21 and still counting it could be reached church already by twos by three by fours it's like murders and an increase the bible said in the last days men have to be wicked i don't think can get wicked i listen to the trials of the dance the gangs or when you hear what these people do to people behead them leave their head and the step just a few days ago they took over the young lady and that little baby why 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 what a baby if you give me the wrong side the man if you have to kill the mother the baby did nothing here it's about a year ago three died by the gun right in this community and now 
another one just down the road. We cry. We talk. We pray. But there are some of us sad to say we can't do it with a lot of things. When the scamming is going on, the baby mother inherit. Cause it's money. But sometimes it costs a whole family to be wiped out. Whatever you know, say it to the police. All I know the gunman could be well be at this funeral. Could be well be on the outside and sitting beside one of you. I you know who is who? Somebody know. Somebody know. So family members. Words cannot express to comfort you in your time of bereavement here. But on behalf of my family and the church family, condolences to you all. May God give you added strength to face your tomorrow and to face your now. Take comfort. Jesus said he will wipe all tears from your eyes. Richard is gone. We cannot bring him back. But if any of you sitting in here or on the outside hear my voice, if you know who, tell it. Because it could be just you, the next victim. God bless you. To the mother, the dear friend, Children and all the relatives of the Griffiths. Go through your pain. Go through it. God knows best. And we cannot do anything. We cannot reverse what happened. So may God bless you all. At this time, selection from greater grace. Power of you. Yes. 
Thank you very much. It's time we take a children from Pastor Scarlett. And then there will be three spaces for three open trees. So after Pastor, the you can come. I don't know if tree. Thank you very much. Let's give God a praise. Yes, I know we are here with mixed feelings. But the word of God says in all things, give it thanks. We are here, and that's enough to give God thanks to. Praise the name of the Lord. 
let me take the opportunity to greet uh, Pastor Charlton, Everton Charlton. He spoke about my father. I knew his father very well, Bishop Charlton. Remember when we used to come to Goshen? Yes. You today, in any world, you would participate in there. His father was the Bishop of Goshen Child Apostolic Church. Praise the name of the Lord. And we were here as youths, but they never noticed when in the time. Praise God. But we were there. And give God thanks. He is a product of his father. Praise the name of the Lord. And we give God thanks for him today. Indeed, as we gather today, I on a sad occasion, I want to express my condolences as well to the family, the Griffiths family and the Lloyds family, because um, I would have known the missionary Lloyd is part of our congregation, is part of our church, and her loss is our loss. And so I want to express my condolences to the entire family, um, the children as well, Praise God. I remember, I think it was, um, it's him, um, to name, wait, Jalicia, she was with you yeah. earlier. She was in Kingston before the death of her father. And so, you know, she, she's fresh in my mind as one of the children. And it's sad when you lose a family member so young and especially a father and they're going to need every support at this time and so i i want to um, encourage you that we serve a god who is a god of comfort he's a god of love and in times like these you can lean on him praise god and so i just want to express to the family and friends around that we need to support the families. Times like these will linger for some people for a long time. And so the support is necessary. My prayers are with the family. My prayers are with you. And we know that God is able to take you through this period. He's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can even think. And so I would encourage you to trust in him. If you did not trust in him before, start trusting in him today. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Scarlett. Now we we'll have space for the tree. Open to this. Let's worship the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. There is coming a day when all no heartaches will come. No more tears in the
when some of us want to get a chance to go to church when it's still the right time. So when you get a chance, let's give God thanks. Come on, let's give God and say, thank you, Jesus. I know it's rough on this family, but thank you, Jesus. You know it could be worse. Yes, it could be worse. And I know also when you're sitting at the front seat, you what you're going through your mind. But thank God for the friends who are here to support you. And we trust that when I'm going to support the family today, but beyond. Because some of us know one is going to primary school, one should be at Manchester High School, one at Sydney Pagan, and one at States. That's no feed for nobody, even you're working money. So the family is going to need the family. Are you with me? Yes. Today is nice and the setup good, but the life beyond. When Miss Jacqueline and the children wake up tomorrow and look up the grave and say, yes, which are gone. Maybe she just call it rich. Doesn't matter where the rich are. Rich him. Alright. Our junior. So let us be assured that those who are here would know that they will need your support. God allow me to pick one before which I die. Yes. I just walk here, the radiation, and look at a little more that I need to mentor. And they know that in a few two weeks, we will be without the father. I am going up and down. This is my daughter. And I already told her, whatever happened to me, he should take care of that little one. I cannot say brother. Maybe I have to say her brother. Because we need to see them grow up. And we will do anything that is human and possible from our church. You hear the amen? And the first one said, hey, Amen. A big person have big vice and big position. So when she said, hey, Amen, is he Amen? Don't need to say anything else. Because we, since I don't know if you know that there's some time in a family, the father died, and the whole house turned upside down. The people them turn work this. People push them around. They go. They live with them uncle. They uncle rape them. They live with their grandfather. The grandfather rape them. So we have to be the vanguard of these. Because most of them are girls. And I know elder. Some of these young men. I don't know what with thirteen and fourteen year old and nine year old and so on. I say it at a funeral and I say it again. They have some clothes on them. Come, come. I don't even know that one. You don't know that one? I don't even know that one. They have some clothes that mean come, come. When you go hear some girl dancing on the pool, I can't recall what one in my life, but I know them. The other name for them is go, go. But it's come to my calling. And these men, look at this walk, go down there, man. You don't need a lot of your prayer little girls then. So, Miss Jacqueline and Miss Sister Lai, they are grandchildren, they are girls. We will have to help you. God bless you. It's good.
Miss Dara, yes, your time. I don't know if you know rich or you know. Oh, <laughs> but you must have been. Yeah. And what are you going to do you write in this oh, community? Nice. Who will write your one? Yes. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. I am here this afternoon with a mixed feeling. Right now, I must say that Richie is one in a million. He does not pass me on the way and don't call to me. I, I miss him so much. He's such a quiet person. Commemorance for the late Richard Richie Fireman Griffiths. Memories are there to remind us of things that have gone before of special friends and loved ones. Some will never see anymore. Our memories of Richie are happy ones, as Richie was that light, a ray of sunshine, in the lives of his family and friends. His uncle could remember his early days of him growing up. And when you ask him, what is your name, boy? His reply would be, Many a Mong Monga men couldn't have celebration pudding man, celebration radio station, television, who used to have to, two empty fellows and always put add one on the cabinet top and the puss eat one. Eat it. Richard was a very caring and helpful person from childhood into adult. This character made him to have a family of his own. He was the father of eight children. He was the breadwinner in the family. And an excellent father to all children and stepchildren and even to children that were not his, his in, the fa in the community. Was not his in the community. His spouse, Jacqueline, shared fond memories of him waking up early to go to bush and working hard to ensure his children had the care. She recalls late last year, he had an accident while cutting trees and had to rush to the hospital where he got 24 stitches to his head and this did not slow him down. He had a determination that was unbreakable and unwavering. Sickness had no chance of getting him down. He was always up and running. He was a confidant to many and an advisor for some. Richie was very ambitious. He owned several bikes and a car. He had never had a dispute with anyone. He preferred to walk away than to argue. He was a peacemaker. He knew a lot about farming, from cultivation to rearing cattle. Richie was at the top of his game. He held nothing back. He would give away more of himself and what he had. Richie likes to reason with his friends over a few drinks, but never recall him being drunk. He loved his mother very much and would always spoke fondly of her and anticipate her visit. He enjoyed a good dish of ackee, pear and pork. A limb has fallen from the tree and heard the voice that whisper, Read not for me, remember the best times, the laughter, the song, the good, I lived while I was strong. Continue my heritage. I am counting on you to keep on smiling. The soul is at rest. Remember how, how I was truly blessed. Continue my tradition. No matter how small, go on with your lives. Don't stare at the wall. I miss you dearly. So keep up your chin until that fine day we will be together again. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you, God bless you.
this time we're going to connect in the prophet over him. Sing after him and we call it an offering. And those are your doing them. Whatever offering you give goes to our welfare that assists you there going to school. Mm -hmm. They are the river. There's a land beyond the river that they call the sea. Oh, you have. 
bow your hands, please. Heavenly Father, we adore you. We magnify your name, Heavenly God. Lord, as we are here, Lord, on this sad occasion, I pray, God, that you remember the, 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 the deceased family at this time. Lord God, we are mourning at this time, but as you said in your words, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. I pray, God, that you will comfort their hearts, Heavenly Father. Oh God, in the offering that has been collected, I pray, God, that you will bless and sanctify it, Lord, as it goes to the further ranks of your work. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution. I can assure you, very given it to our worthy cause. At this time, I notice we don't have a sermon. They are mistaken program. Or my program don't have to. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the sermon. We'll have a sick before I should be to your program at one. We have church will be singing now. And after the church sings, the next voice you hear will be the preaching. So I'll be taking the sermon before the eulogy. Because some of you, after you hear the business of Mr. Richard, you're done. So I'm going to allow you to stay for the sermon and hear the business of Mr. Richard. So after the sermon, after the then it will be Minister Weekly Vice. You'll be here. God bless you. There are times I get
Okay, if I'm sure we just lift our hands wherever we are and just give a lot of grace. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad that Jesus knows. Amen. Grateful to be in the presence of the Lord one more time. That is such a sad occasion. I think it was sometime this uh, this week I was talking to my brother. I was telling him, man, I'm just tired of these funerals. We just got to tell the death to stop. But it's one of those things that is appointed unto us. Uh, when we look around, young, middle age, old, it's, it's, it's a serious time that we're living in. And we are in the house of the Lord then this afternoon just to on the stands and the premise of the word, then just to encourage the hearts of the bereaved. Amen. Condolences that have been expressed. And as we go, we are trying our best to see how we can encourage you. Amen. Through the power of the Lord. Amen. For those who might not be aware, I'm not a long speaker when it comes on to funeral. Amen. I, I can assure you, 10 minutes stops and I'm out of here. Amen. But I just want to bring your attention to a particular passage. Let me take the time to greet our pastor. Amen. Pastor Charlton and to Pastor Scarlett. Amen. To members of the bereaved family and friends, family well wishes. Greet you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to be very quick. I can assure you of that. I'm just going to ask that if you have your Bibles with you, your phones, your tablet, whatever it is, let's just turn to the book of John, chapter 1 and verse 29. Amen. See John chapter 1 and verse 29. Just one verse. Praise the Lord Jesus. St. John chapter 1. Amen. And verse 29. Praise the Lord. Are we there? Amen. So St. John 1, verse 29. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold the love of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Behold the love of God, which taketh away the sin of the world of the world amen amen i'm just going to talk to you just for a few minutes and i'll take my seat death is something that we all have to contend with a couple of things that we know for a fact from the presentation of the word of god is that death is sure we also know that it can be very sudden. Amen. It's, it's very, very short. It's appointed unto man who wants to die. And after death comes the judgment. As Hebrew chapter 9 and verse 27. So whether we're rich, whether we're poor, whether we drive a big car, we walk or ride a bicycle, Death is sure. As so sure as the sun will shine, death is sure. I had a conversation recently. Now I'm saying that when you look at the fact that there might be a 12 year old here somewhere, and 30 years from now, that 12 year old will be 42. Some of us will be around. The reality hit me just this week. Because I'm in my low 30s. And I'm saying to myself, 20 years from now, Pastor, it's possible that I won't be around. At the rate of what is happening now. Amen. It doesn't have to be sickness. 
It can be an accident. It can be a bullet that was never intended for you. But you're just seemingly in the wrong place at the wrong time. It's very, very sure. Another thing about death is that the reality is that it's sudden. In Luke chapter 12, verse 16 through 20, the parable is told about the rich man who had an increase. And the Bible says that he decided to tear down his barns and to build bigger ones. Like any of us, we get an increase, whether it be business, whether it be something that we did that we got a little extra. And the intention of the rich man is just to maybe open a new branch. You, you, you're thinking about business. So as I was explaining on Sunday, sometimes even the business location is so fruitful and overwhelming that you decide to open another branch in another parish. But as soon as the rich man got the increase, he decided I'm going to tear down these barns and build bigger ones. And in the middle of his pursuit, the Bible says, God said to him, Thou fool, tonight thy soul is required of thee. And his heart was not right. And we recognize that he lost everything that he had. Because while the money and the increase can be good and be great, because we all need it to survive, our heart, our possession, our relationship with God is most important. None of us knows the hour when our number will be called. None of us know, amen, you can't be planning a funeral for somebody and you never finish the planning process. You can be on your way to work and it happens. It's that sudden and it's that short. In the midst of all of this, amen, the reality of what we are dealing with, sometimes I ask myself the question, do we really understand Amen. That one of these days our number will be called. But in the midst of all of this, the Lord gave us hope. Praise the name of Almighty God. Ah, there is no remission of sin without the shedding of blood. And so he decided that he's going to go to Calvary. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. He went to Calvary for no sins of his own. He was hung up high and stretched wide. He bled. He was nailed to the cross. Good God of glory. The Bible says, Amen, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There is a way. Hallelujah for men to be saved. In the midst of all that we are faced with. In the midst of the looting and the shooting and the rage. Amen. In the midst of murder. In the midst of all Hallelujah. The Bible says Jesus stepped out and declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Ah, the Lord gave himself a ransom. The Lord gave himself as a sacrifice. Amen. So that we can be saved. You see, you see, death comes with the intention to disrupt. But, but God has come to give life. Hallelujah to God. Amidst the trouble, amidst the heart that we faced here. Can I tell you that there is a way to be saved. Hallelujah to God. There is a way, amen, to, to, to mitigate all that hell has planned for you. Good God of glory. So as the Lord is planning your future, the enemy is also planning one for you. And the decision is in your hands. Do I choose the Lord or do I choose the enemy? Death is very sure and because I live with this kind of reality, I've got to that I need to make Jesus my choice. We might never know the individual that took out his life. Hallelujah. But as sure as the sun will shine, the Lord knows that individual. And unless they come to repentance, they too shall likewise perish. Hallelujah to God. I want to submit to those in the hearing of my voice that the Lord Can I tell you, you're not too pretty to die. No. Uh, 
You're not too handsome to die. You're not too rich to die. You're not too old to die. And you're surely not too young to die. But can I tell you, it takes a conscious decision to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. It takes a conscious decision to say, I'm going to change my life. I've been on this road for a very long time. And Some of us are walking on very slippery slopes, but in the name of Jesus Christ, we present this afternoon the power and the presence of Almighty God. This is the God who has no business and no dealing with where you're coming from, because he can take a nobody and make them into somebody. He can take a poor and make them rich. He can Body, they could get another one. 
out of the con congregation. Have been to funeral. The son didn't leave the funeral, they died right there. So today the preacher said, Behold the Lamb of God. And I suggest to you, Father Church, that you will make sin. Yes. That yes, any church, but one that can point you to Jesus. God bless you. There's a young lady outside who wants to give a tribute. And I'll facilitate her now. She can come. I don't know why. Maybe she loves Richard that much to say goodbye to him in a song. Here you can go. And if you have three verses, do two. If you have two, do one. Do you want my sponsor? Thank you. 
Well, it's that. We're going on the first. Good afternoon, church. You are the jail flag for Richard Junior Griffith, affectionately called Richie Fire Fireman. Life is a journey filled with unpredictable turns. On November 30, 1972, in the district of Savannah, now called Farm, Richard's journey on life's road began. He was the first son of Galdi Yours and Franklin Griffiths. He was their ray of light. He and his mother then moved to Comfort to live with his grandfather, Wilfred Griffiths. Afterwards, Albert, Albert migrated them to live here in Elam. Richard was raised like one of the sons for his grandfather, Wilfred, who took him home from he was three weeks old. Richard began his early education at Elam Basic School and then moved to Newton Primary. Caring and nurturing Richard was easy as he was humble, and a well-behaved boy. He displayed a great level of understanding of things and life from a very tender age. As life progressed and Wilford, Wilford get older, he would from time to time assist with his care along with Wilfred's children. You could tell that his grandfather loved him like his own. Richard started having thoughts of having a family of his own and he did not waste time to pursue his desire. He was the girl's then sugar. And so he met Jacqueline Gale, Jackie, and started and had his first son, Nishar, where at that time the one burner business for him. <laughs> Sorry, at one time at that time the one burner business now worked for him. And further down in that same year, he got another son, O'Shane, Willie. Richie quickly found out that he could not maintain this lifestyle and decided to stick to his first love, Jackie. Richie kept the boys' train running for a while because he later got Michard, Nunu, Quishard, Blacks, Najee, Naj, and he never gave up hope. Like they always say, three times is the charm, but this was the sixth time for Richie that he became a father of a princess, Jalicia, Yori, and you could tell he gave it his all because Yori came out the spitting image of her dad. As God would have have it, he was blessed again with another girl, Nakira, Kiki, and you could tell Jackie won the race this time around, Kiki looks like her mom. Indeed, everyone needs a wash belly, and so did Richie. And so he honored the father role for one last time and created his masterpiece, Rashard, Bling. They were inseparable. Bling loved his dad with all he had. Nothing was enticing to Bling if his dad was not involved. Richie loved his children and treated them well. He would go above and beyond to ensure they got the best. So many other children, some now adults, can attest to the fact that he not only showed love to ch his children, but his compassion extended to them in and around his community with no strings attached. Richard was a cattle farmer and an advisor and a toiler of the soil. He would raise up early to go to his to attend to these crops and animals and will often stop to help a friend whenever they are in need. He had a lot of friends as his humility drew a lot of people to him. He could give sound advice about farming as he had an extensive knowledge on this topic. He was known by a lot and cared for a lot. Richie then discovered the skill of burning coal and took on the task and learned its ropes quite quickly. His sons assisted him and they worked wholeheartedly to make sure their family was taken care of. Richie at one point in his life tried to embrace 
the Rastafari Rentism. But found out he loved pork more than any other meat and shaved his head. In so much so, he was also called Porkhead. On August 25th, Richard's journey came to a premature end, and so many questions still linger in his loved one's mind. Why? He has left to grieve mother, Galdi, father, Franklin, stepfather, Mr. Norman, spouse, Jacqueline, eight children, stepchildren, three grandchildren, sisters, brothers, aunts, cousins, and a host of other relatives and friends. Life is but a stepping place, a pausing what to be, a resting place along the road to sweet eternity. We all have different journeys, different paths along the way. We all are meant to learn some things, but never meant to stay. Our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some the journey is quicker, for some the journey is slow. And when the journey finally ends, We'll claim a great reward and find everlasting peace together with the Lord. Rest well, Richie. Okay, next, brother, rest well. And we know something about him that many of us did not know. You know we have eight children. And as I said before, his life ends appropriately. None of us know, none of us can tell. But the Lord knows. Yes. Press well. At this time, share part of the praise for the family. Praise Jesus. Our oh, blessed Lord, going to ask um, all the relatives to remain seated while others are going to ask you to stand while uh, praying for the great family. For I pray that we to offer my um, condolences to the family. Indeed, Richie was a very quiet person, a loving individual. Let us pray, kind righteous Heavenly Father, how great the Lord. We are thanking you today, Lord, for another day that you have allowed us to see. My God, as we are here today with mixed feeling, but Jesus, we are still giving you thanks. I put before at this time their very family, especially the children, Heavenly Father, who have lost their father, the breadwinner. But Jesus, with you all things are possible. Hallelujah. What seemed impossible, my God, you turn it into possibility. Father God, before you this time, Lord God, I put them before you that you will surround them. You can't even provide food on the table for them. Heavenly Father, raiment and housing for them in the name of Jesus. My God, they may be lacking for the individual fatherly love and touch. But in the name of Jesus, you are the great Father. I pray that they will look towards you. Father God, I pray for unity among each other, especially the children. Father God, I pray that they continue to support and stand by each other, especially in time like this. Continue to surround them with the love, hallelujah, more abundantly. Heavenly Father, let others continue to support them, Lord God, and not just during this period, but let them keep checking on them from time to time. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we know things are different. Difficult, but Jesus with you all things are possible and so God I'm giving you thanks Lord God for even this day I pray that they are feel down, feeling down hearted now but you'll continue to strengthen them I pray my God that sooner or later those who do not know you that they will come to know of your grace your mercy and your forever loving arms that will continue to be wrapped around them Heavenly Father remember even the little ones who are still in school God I pray that that they will not be 
and bothered. I pray that their education will not be disturbed. I pray that there will always be food on the table for them, money to go to school. God, I pray that you continue to provide for them. In the name of Jesus, oh my God, stand in the gap for them, Heavenly Father. Oh my God, when they think that all is lost and done, my God, I pray that you continue to stand with them. Heavenly Father, God, I want to fail to ask of you on behalf of Richard's family. God, I pray that you continue to provide for them. Remember, Miss Jackie, Heavenly Father, and all the children continue to be their tall strength as we give you thanks. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Missionary Panther. All right, thank you very much. At this time, we believe in you have been good, support to the family, so if you could just stay in your seat for a while. Let us allow the family to go before us, since we are here to support them. So at this time, we'll be singing in Rosh Hashanah Lord is my shepherd with happy one. We are also Paul Beer and the Undertaker to come up this time. And then trust from Minister Go first, followed by the choir, followed by the casket, immediate family. Let us go in that call. Please don't go while the casket is going. Please. Those at the back that are moving, please stay. I think the family will be out. Please. The Lord's my shepherd, I not want. He makes me
Like a comet blazing across the evening sky Gone too soon Like a rainbow fading in the twinkling of an eye Gone too soon Splendidly bright Here one day Gone one night Like the loss of sunlight On a cloudy afternoon
Come on, come on, come on, come on,
Mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that hath wrought us for the self same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest oh, spirit. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore, we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of Him. Yes, but yes. I, I, and no, therefore, no. for as much as it had pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of the world the soul of our deceased brother, Richard Jr. Griffiths, a father, a son, nephew and uncle we therefore commit his body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes dust to dust looking for the general resurrection in that last day and the life of the world to come through our lord jesus christ at whose second coming and glorious majesty to judge the world the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he's able to subdue all things unto himself amen as the um, workmen prepare and cover the grave we will sing from our program. There's a land that is fairer than this. And by faith we shall see it apart. Our Father waits all the way. Put the letter. There's a land that is fairer than this. And by faith we can see it in the sweet we shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by on that beautiful shore, we shall sing. We shall sing on that beautiful shore. 
the melodious song of the blessed, and the spirit and sorrow of woe, and the sight of the blessed of praise. In the sweet, in the sweet. In the sweet, I am proud. We shall see it on the hill. Some sweet day. Some sweet day. I'm going away. Come on, y'all. 
Ricardo. One more bar, one more bar, buddy. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? One more. I think one bar. Four more. 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 Four
got thanks for his holding his hand this afternoon. And so we give him praise and glory. So let us pray at this time as we give him praise. Eternal Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you, God, for allowing us, God, this opportunity this afternoon to put away a uh, son, uh, father, uh, uncle, father in name Jesus. We pray right now, even as we close things, that we continue to remember, Lord, that it is you who gives life, and you give life more abundantly. We put, present everything in your hands and give you all the praise, even as we journey from this place. We ask for journey mercies. Take full control as we say thanks in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. And now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, to him be glory, honor, majesty, and power both now and forevermore, let all of God's people say, Amen.